Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverages. A very nice cranberry and lime juice. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies where in a previous episode we were once again designing and fighting and specifically in the Airship Eddie Tor and we were building, if we go to the bottom here, the SP Robin. This is a small airship that has limited manoeuvrability but not bad service sailing at 192 and it's focused around the flamethrowers. Now it's certainly far from the perfect design and thank you very much for those who have suggested different uh, variations and alterations and uh, just improvements the main takeaway is that it's too slow and it doesn't well it tends to set fire to itself and others just as much as it sets fire to the enemy so we do need a version 2 of this but we're not going to focus on that in this video because I want to make something new now in the previous episode comments as well, there was a suggestion to make a ship and a vessel that was quite desirable for the people on board, i.e. it has a lot of survivability and um, staying power, and that got me thinking about different designs. So if we think about something that can stick around in a fight, uh, obviously you've got all the supporting stuff for that, so you need lots of ammo, lots of uh, fuel, whatever, but you need to A, not be hit, and B, if you are hit, make sure you can take that hit on. So that means a decent manoeuvrability, a good service ceiling to increase that like vertical range, and also um, making sure that you've got decent-ish armor. All, all of that there together means a lot of money. It's not. Po it's not. It's certainly not possible. In fact, pretty much anything in the game is possible when it comes to building but you're going to pay for it. But what can we do? Well, as always, I focus around the uh, the <laughs> the delivery system of our uh, damage or boarding first. So we look at weapons first and how we're going to board, etc. And what we're going to do to take out the opponent and build the ship around that rather than build a ship and then just stick a spike on the front or whatever. So we could go with things like, well, for a start, we're thinking range. That's going to be our main defense, long range. So things like the Acid Spitter, which is maximum range of 85 meters, it ain't going to cut it. Also, what, with longer range, we could go, oh, perfect, aerial torpedo, 1,600 meter range. However, terrible arc of fire. So it'll come off here. That's its minimum fire range. And the arc of fire is terrible. So if you're high up there and the opponent's down here, you can't hit it. But it means you're going to have to then come further down and that's reducing your range. So we want good arc of fire, long range. Uh, so, you know, all these things, uh, they really start to come into play. I've originally thought dorsal turret because it's not bad. 170 degree arc of fire, 610 accurate range, and that's pretty good. However, you can only have the one because you can't stack them. It looks like you can stack them, but you can't. That red corridor there, it, it's still, you know, it applies here. So you can only have the one, so that's not good enough. Obviously, no flamethrower. The bottom front turret, yeah, now that could work. Each one of these is really good. Uh, 90 degree arc of fire and f 740 meters accurate range and we could stack those and I believe we have made a vessel before that just stacks loads of those and that came to mind I thought yeah let's do that but no it's uh it's not ideal obviously the options are massive rocket as well really good arc of fire but terrible range bombs now that is I guess the main one and this was suggested as well it's a maximum accurate range of 530 meters but it's a drop so we go very high up and drop it that way but that's only giving us um, distance vertically not horizontally as well so we're trying to get it all we're trying to get it all here um, obviously heavy cannon is uh, not a very good arc of fire but good range the one what did spring to mind was the suspendium cannon which is good for long range fire 3300 meters but the arc of fire is terrible however suspendium ray now we're talking arc of fire is about what 180 uh, 170 it's 170 uh, degrees maximum accurate range 3300 meters but we've already got one of those so we'd have to make this uh, with a good service ceiling but then i thought hang on surely we're missing a trick guided missile maximum accurate range 600 6600 meters it's got a minimum arc of fire but it's got a 360 degree arc of fire. It can fire wherever it wants. So why don't we build a vessel around these things? Maybe maybe just the one. Probably, t pro I don't know, maybe we have one or two. I haven't decided. But build it around this. Not necessarily heavily armed. But certainly very good service ceiling. 
Let's try it. Let's try building around one of them. So, what do we want? Well, for a start, armor. We could go with steel armor, heavy steel armor. I'm going to go with steel armor. It costs two. It is 50 HP, weight 10. What's the wooden armor? Uh, weight two. But the blast damage is better. So, 50 HP, 50 HP. Wooden armor is two blast, four piercing. And that's 16 blast, six piercing. So, the steel armor is better, but it also weighs five times as much. So we got the wooden armor, but with steel armor, it's uh, it's not going to work out. Let me see what would happen if we go to lift and then to a large suspendium chamber. We bought that on its 324 meters service ceiling. If we go for wooden armor, that jumps to 383. I think we'll stick with the wooden armor and get rid of that and try and go with suspendium chambers. 212 meters, that's not enough. So we'd need two of those, and if you were going to have two of them, you might as well just go with the large suspendium chamber. So we're going to put in a large suspendium chamber. The problem with that is obviously it uh, it does use quite a bit of coal. It uses a unit of coal every 10 seconds. So if we go to our resources and down to coal, that has 50 capacity. That's enough to keep us afloat for a considerable amount of time. The guarded missile, however, is a... where is it? It is sophisticated guided missile. It is 8 ammo per shot. Ah. <laughs> ammo store carries 100. I'm thinking, do we just do this and make it just a big, long-range rocket boat? No, because the service ceiling drops to 150 odds. So that's not going to happen. So one of those in there... What if we just do that and stack it like that? It means that that's got... Ooh, uh, how many shots has it got? It's got like 12 shots, 24 shots. That should be enough to take anything out. I mean, to be fair, that should be enough. Just one ammo store. Let's, let's go with that for now. I'm going to put in a fire point... Where's the best place for a fire point? Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it there. And then the reason for that is underneath, a small propeller is going to sit there. <laughs> That's going to be our propulsion, okay? I don't really care about the maneuverability. It's not really something we need to maneuver um, overly quickly. Saying that, do I want... Do I want a, a bridge or a cockpit? A bridge would afford us... Uh, it says no bridge. We have got a bridge, but we just don't have a crew. Let me place some quarters in. Um, command every two seconds. We don't need command every two seconds. Uh, command every 12 seconds. That's also a little bit too low. Put two of those in. That would work, though. Maybe if we just put two of those in. That's a potential. That's a potential one, isn't it? Um, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put a fire point in there. Oh, no. It won't fit in. Okay. Um... Trying to think what the best course of action is. That could go in there. Because we just don't need access to that top bit. That is fine. We'll have a... Fire point in here. We'll have a telescope there. That increases accuracy by 30%. Would that be fine? Would, would, do we need more accuracy? Do we need more accuracy? I'm not sure. What I do want is a crow's nest. Ah, it has to go up there. Okay. Um, in that case, we will have a um, crew of 12, recommended 12. If I click that up, that's fine. And I also want a cockpit, which is now in. And we need supply hatches. So a supply hatch will go for... Um, where is it? It is under resources, isn't it? Yes. And a wooden supply hatch. It's under two grand. I wouldn't have thought that'd have been under two grand. Service ceiling, 282 meters. That's brilliant. Speed is 69. That's pretty good too. Crew of 15, recommended 13. Yep, we do have water. We don't have repair. But like I say, my whole point is to stay out of the way. What if I put a, a repair bay in? It would be all right possibility. Put a repair bay in. We haven't got medics. 
What if I put medics in? Or is this just... <laughs> is this just like, if I put a sick bay in, is that like over-egging it now? Yeah, you need more supply hatches. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Um, we'll put some corners on it, just to make it a little bit less brick-like. Um, oh, there is a disadvantage. Aeroplanes. Naturally, there's a couple of problems. We could get boarded, in which case we're screwed. <laughs> Let's just put that out there now. But, that aside, because we've got good service ceiling. Planes. Planes coming after us would be a nightmare. So, weapons could go with a musket. Shoots troops and planes within 20, 42 metres. A rifle, 57 metres. The deck gun, uh, 50, or 35 metres. Gatling gun, 57 metres. You know what, I'm just going to put a rifle in. Put a rifle on the top there, that can deal with most of that. Okay, that's what we're going to stick with for now. This is version 1, as always. We are uh, building and then going from there. Solid shapes, I'm going to put... Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, maybe? Oh, I like that. I do like that. Yeah, okay. We're going to have that. Okay. That seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. Right, okay. So, we just need a name now. Okay, I've gone with the SP Kite uh, because, well, quite frankly, the other day I saw a documentary about the reintroduction of red kites. I'm not going to name a particular colour. I think there's red kites, there's black kites. Other colours are probably also available, but we'll call it there and save the design. And let's see if this thing is completely useless or really good or maybe somewhere in between. So we're going to go to add an airship and we're going to put in the SP kite. There we go. And obviously it can go wherever it wants, but it's going to go right at the back there. So that's fine. And in terms of buildings, we are going to put it against... Let's have a quick look. Um, The bamboo, there's the, the orc. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it against a couple of orcs, which would normally be placed at the back there. Now even then... With those two, they are still underpointed, but I want to see if this will work. Now, naturally, this is the best thing that we can do for ourselves. Like, this is, like, brilliant for us. It means that we are, you know, the, the sort of best range and, you know, as, th this is really playing to our strengths. It's a stationary target. Uh, there goes the rocket there. Yeah, so it's stationary target, and it's um, also, like, long range. I'm guessing, actually, the best course of action would be to go right above it, because then we're not going to get shot to bits like um, it's currently shooting us now, and I think we've just fallen out the sky. Sky. Yes, yes, we've um, we, we've fallen out the sky. That didn't work. Okay, leave, leave, leave combat. Let's try that again. Uh, this time we'll have a day fight airship. We're gonna go with the kite. Kite's gonna go there this time, followed by the uh, building, and then a couple of these uh, orcs. So we'll place an orc in there and there, and I think I managed to place one there by accident. Yes, click start, select that. Wanna go? right above them like so. I don't know if they've got anything above them, flak-wise. I think... Oh, they do. They do have aerial charges. So, this could potentially be a bit of a problem. But let's just go and... We can see the first shot hit there and it did a lot of damage around it. That's fine. We're going to go with an aimed fire because we don't really have uh, much opportunity to do else, uh, anything else. I'm just worried that this is going to start launching the rockets at us. Um, the aerial charges, if it's got any. I think, yeah, there's the aerial charges. So, it has got aerial charges. So, I'm going to initiate a manoeuvre to go back over because I really want to get away from those aerial charges. Um, the problem I face, obviously, is oh, no target available. I'm fairly confident there's a target available. Why, why is it saying that? There's certainly a target available. Or is it within... Ah, oh, we might not... Uh, we might not... I think we're within, uh, within minimum range. That's probably what's happened there. Okay. Um, what I'll do is probably back it up a little bit to there. See if that does it. I mean, we're still getting absolutely shot to bits. Yeah, I think it's the distance. Yeah, so that's a, that's a downside. Let's just go here then. And 
Is it gonna get there? There we go, there's Rocket Away. As soon as we get to that correct place, and we're still getting shot by one, two, three, four, eight rifles, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you to target the front one, um, but the advantage we have is that all of the cannons are not shooting us. How are we doing for damage? Damage is bad. We've taken a lot of damage, so we've lost we've lost bits everywhere, really. But I don't know what else we can uh, realistically do. Um, I'm sure I said target the front one, but there's a massive explosion on the back. So either it's completely disregarding my orders, or it genuinely thinks that's the best target. I guess also there's another option. It's simply missed. Um, it is possible. You can see they're building the rocket in the middle there. Um, what are we on for in terms of crew? Uh, 15 to 15, we haven't lost any crew, but we have got a fire, and it's spread very quickly, but hopefully we can put it out with the water that's on site. Yes, it looks like it's out. Gonna go back, follow the missile in, and it missed again. Why is it not focusing on the front one? Or is that, ah, oh, that one will be out of range. Sorry, that'll be within the minimum range, that one. That's what's happening there. Uh, okay, right, interesting. So that's why it's shooting the back one. If we moved it further back, it would probably work. Um, I've got them focus on shooting there. And we are on normal fire. Do you want to go on aimed fire? Uh, or rapid? Let's just put on rapid fire and see what happens. Because I don't think... I don't think it really misses, to be honest. Um, there's the shot going out. And I also noticed that I'm... I am drifting back over, even though... <laughs> I told it to stay there. And there's another big hit. And, oh, there's a secondary explosion that's taken ammo out. And we've also got fires on board as well. Okay. I'm just going to speed it to max speed and just see what happens here. Um... Still in the fight, it's still functioning. It's just, yeah, we're gonna be out of ammo before this thing. Hang on, something's happened. Something's tap. Yeah, blew up that. Okay, so it has not been successful on that front. Let me go for another day fight. This time we're gonna add an airship. It's gonna be the kite once again. Hang on a minute. Kite, there we go. It's just gonna go there for now. And add in an airship, we're gonna add in Say one of the ones that have been built previously. That one there. That's what's that? Two thousand points, I think. So this will move up to here. Start the fight immediately. Say move up. That's going to start firing. As is it. Rockets are loading. Hatches are open. Missile away. And it's heading, it's heading, it's heading, and it tracks. Did you see that? It was tracking the target. <laughs> so that's something I wasn't entirely sure uh, would happen. I didn't know whether or not the target gets tracked. And can confirm it does get tracked. Good. I am getting absolutely plastered though by its flat cannons. But I didn't really have much of an option other than to go around like that. And the suspendium chambers broken. We've got a missile away though. We have a missile away. It missed. And it's within our minimum range. Okay, so we'll leave that, that fight as well. This is not going terribly well. Um, Right. <laughs> Airship. We're going to put the kite back in. Land ship. How much is the winter? Or oh, there's a pig. The elk. That, that was previously called the winter. Let's have a couple of elks in. A couple of those things. Obviously, we're going to get another uh, kite in for that. There. And that'll do. Move that to there. Start the fight. Tell them to move up. I wish we could get a higher service ceiling. There's the rockets going out now. These things are heading towards us. First shot, just taking a big dent out of the middle of it. Second shot. Another big chunk out of it. And it's one of them's lost its <laughs> one of them has lost its suspendium chamber already. I mean what's best? If you stay up there, you get shot by those things at the back. If you go down, it's this cannon. There's no real safe space for it, other than behind. Rockets are out on that one, and it's hit the front there. It's not doing the damage, is it? There's another missile coming in. Ah, just didn't have the... Just didn't have the vectoring. And, oh, good grief, that's getting absolutely plastered. 
Hmm. I'm not convinced this is a decent vessel. And I can tell that because we've lost every single fight we've had, even when we were very much overpointed. I'll tell you what. Uh, airship. What else have we got? We've got the owl. That's about equal in points. Start. We've got more armor. No, we've got the same armor. We've got better speed. We've got higher service ceiling. Let's see what happens. It's absolutely peppering us with these rockets. And I'm going to go past it. I don't have much choice. But if I keep moving... If I keep moving... Hopefully... It won't hit us. Because obviously those rockets that it's firing are definitely not guided. Can we just skim past it? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Keep going, please. And go to there. <laughs> I actually don't really need... I don't actually need to turn the vessel around. Because it can fire... Ooh, good grief. Other noises of uh, surprise are available. But yeah, we don't actually need to turn it around. Ah, oh, we just clipped the gas bag there. But that's going to lower its... Uh, that's going to lower its maximum service ceiling. I'm, I'm, yeah, I am going to tell it to flip simply because we get one, one more, uh, one more gun in. <laughs> um, and I guess there's another rocket. Oh, it's got fire on it now. This time, once again, go to there. Hang on, where is it? Oh, it's falling out the sky again. Right, brilliant. Okay, so I'm not convinced this is any good. Uh, <laughs> admittedly. We have put it against some things that are really good. What's the main problem? Well, it doesn't have enough firepower. The rockets just don't cause enough damage. Blast is 90 damage. It just doesn't take things out. I'd have to put another couple of rockets on, but then it's getting really overpointed. Another problem is it breaks. What if we put on steel armor? Would it put on steel armor? Reduces the service ceiling. I mean, does it really matter that much? It's still over 200. Speed goes down, but it's already fairly poor on that front anyway. And the cost goes up by by a couple of hundred. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Airships. Kite. Right. I mean, no. Airships, what could we, what could we verse? I mean, the owl was 600 points cheaper. The Sparrowhawk we'd be able to defeat, 197 meters service ceiling. We wouldn't be able to board us. Bluebirds, two, what about two bluebirds? Let's see what two of their bluebirds would do. They would sit back here, bluebirds, because they've got really good range. Low service ceiling. Move. Go back there. So, once again, we are as far as we could possibly be away. And already their rays that it fired managed to clip the underbelly. And is continuing to clip us without any problems whatsoever. Right. There goes the rocket. They are actually getting closer. Yep, here we go, and good hit, good hit. But we've already lost the suspendium chamber. Is this the worst thing I've ever made? No, we've made worse things. But admittedly, normally, we know that they're really poor to begin with and we're just messing around. This was a genuine serious attempt at making something that was desirable to be on because it survived so much. What we've actually got is the exact opposite of that. <laughs> it falls out the sky, if you so much as look at it. It blows up when you accidentally kick. <laughs> uh, it just blows up when you actually uh, kick like the, the, the door with your toe. Um, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm not even going to pretend that there's any positives on this one. I don't know how to salvage it. I don't know what to do. It's it's just... Is it... Is it the design or is it the guided missile? You know, the guided missile is really cool. 
but it's flammable, it may explode, it takes 8 units, and it takes 25 seconds to reload. I mean, the only thing I can think of is adding maybe two more guided missiles on top of that. But a guided missile... How much is it? It's 1,224. I can have six torpedoes for that. There may be a way around it. And if it was a bigger map, I think we could genuinely win it very easily. Six... I don't know what the scale is. Like, is each one of these blocks two meters? That wouldn't be unreasonable to assume. So the map... I don't think the map is that big. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think we should do? Do you reckon we should... Do you reckon there's a future in the kite? Do you reckon maybe more armour? Maybe adding some more rockets on it? Or maybe it's just a bad job? Maybe we just go full armour and sit it on the ground. But then we've tried that before. I don't know what the solution is, but I would like to know what you think the solution is, and maybe we'll come up with some sort of ideas. Either way, that's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. Not always successful, these builds, and that's fine. The fun's in finding out. We found out that that thing is garbage. But next time, <laughs> hopefully we'll make something that works, or we can revisit that to try and make something that is actually semi-functional. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this video of Airships. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.